My name's James Lockridge. I, uh, I help manage Big Heavy, which is a, a music development office run by volunteers who all work on different projects that either archive or promote music that comes out of Vermont. The, uh, the show series that we're hosting, they're all, all ages and substance free, and they were started in part to sort of fill a void where uh, 242 Main used to be. Um, and 242 would have shows that uh, that came from it starting out as a teen center a long time ago. Um, and uh, up until December of last year, there were shows there that were all ages. When 242 started in the middle of the 1980s, it was a project of the city's youth office. And um, it was set up as a place where the kids could basically have a safe space to program for themselves. And so they did that. They had lessons, they had art, they had a concession stand. And, and from the very start, they were producing music events. And that kept up for over 30 years. When you had a situation where young people were bringing music that they wanted to hear into a space that they, you know, governed and made their own. They had a, a safe space that they were comfortable enough in to actually build community between themselves, you know, communicate with one another. It was a place where young people could see what it's like to be part of a community and to be critical thinkers and to have confidence to participate. I expect Memorial Auditorium to be brought back. Um, what I understand is uh, whether it's an internal decision or in response to the extreme pressure from the community to preserve Memorial that happened over the last year, the mayor has committed to developing a plan for capitalizing uh, uh, what we'll call redevelopment, but basically bringing it up to code and to modern standards on the inside, preserving the outside is likely. The city itself chose to not maintain it, which is how it decayed, chose to not staff it in a way that had the acumen to generate revenue uh, to sustain it, um, and finally is now recognizing these shortcomings. and the responsibility to put it back together because it's public infrastructure that the public cares about and never should have been lost to us. This hasn't been a priority for a while and we're all suffering for it. You know, Memorial Auditorium is a key civic building that has a meaningful story to tell. It's part of our city's identity. Big Heavy World always has a lot going on, um, whether it's the stuff we do all the time or um, special projects. And at the moment, we're working on a documentary film about 242 Maine with filmmaker Bill Simmons. We've done more than 60 interviews, and uh, you can see the trailer on Vimeo. We're always leaning into the work of making Vermont a more hospitable and respectful place for music as a contributor to our community and our economy and our identity. And we're also always trying to be a fun, fun space that anybody can come be a part of the music scene at. I hope everybody who sees this or you know encounters this interview goes to save242main.com and reads the petition and comes to understand a little better about what 242 stood for and should be it should exist for and to sign this, the petition as well.